Okay, now that I've got the chains looped for my 10 hour maintenance, I'm going to show you how I adjust my track tension. So before I had the Argo outside and I typically run my pressures at 3 psi in the front two tires, 4 psi in the middle four tires, and 3 psi in the back two tires. So since it was outside, it was probably oh, close to negative 10 Fahrenheit or uh, say, say it was closer to zero. Anyways, uh, because I brought it inside and everything warmed up, the tire pressures are higher. So I got to take my low pressure tire gauge, let a little bit of air out of each tire, and then we'll go through and measure it to see what my track side is. Okay, 3 psi on the front, put my cap back on, The only thing that stinks about this is when I take it back outside in the cold, I'm going to have to air the tires back up again. That's okay. Okay. Just under 4 psi on the middle tire, or on the second tire.
could have, I'll fix this with video editing because this is taking forever. Okay. Four, four PSI and tire number three. And then this rear tire will be three PSI. Just a smidge over three PSI in the rear. Now what we'll do is we'll run the track a little bit. Okay. What do we got? Three PSI, four PSI, four PSI. 3 PSI. This is a framing square. See there, it's two inches. Take this. You actually have to push the track down a little bit to get it in there. So this is two inches here. A little bit less than two inches on tire number three. Let's try it on tire number two. Probably not a great idea to use the, the squeaky jack as a tripod, but we're making it work. And then here's tire number two. Oh, it just, just will barely squeeze in there on tire number two. I could actually probably let a little bit more out of here, but I'm going to go with a little bit less than two inches of track sag. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. I'll try to help. You know, this is the way... But I do things, I understand that other people do things differently, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Alright, have a good day.